first attempt with this uh, GoPro setup, this microphone setup. <coughs> Actually, the mic gain's not too loud since the microphone's practically in my mouth. I don't know uh, if the wind noise is alright once we get moving. So this is a new bike for me, BMW K1600 GTL. I've been fancying a tour for a while. I've been looking at the uh, various options. Um, look at the Kawasaki. I was always a big fan of that from, uh, from the 90s, I suppose. And then uh, I looked at the. Uh, uh, Pan-European and uh, the Yamaha. I always thought the BMW uh, was a bit out of my price range. It's not really uh, my cup of tea to spend 20 grand on a bike. So um, I bought uh, I bought a used one. So this one's uh, five years old and a very pleasant gentleman up in Bedford that is selling one. Uh, it only put sort of four and a half thousand miles on it. I only owned this for uh, a couple of weeks after I put 100 miles on it. And, uh, loving it. Great bike. It's uh, a very comfortable being a tourer. Uh, it's got lots of uh, little bits to play about with. An adjustable screen. Uh, Audio on board, sat nav on board, cruise control, and loads of other little bits and pieces to play with. Um, so the idea is, I bought this bike now. It's springtime. With a plan to is a touring. Uh, not quite sure yet where yet. Uh, I'm to go up to Scotland on it. Um, and over to Europe. I've got uh, a desire to go down to um, down the Alps, do some of the mountain passes. Uh, also like to go over to to Germany. Got some family over there, and also uh, I quite like going fast on motorbikes. So. That's as good a place as any. And people sort of uh, move over for you as well, which is nice. So I thought I'd try it on the bike this year. So this this bike's got loads of uh, loads of uh, luggage space. I'm not quite sure what uh, all the differences differences are between the GT and GTLE which this is. Um, I know it's got a... This one's got a more comfortable seat and it's got a top box as well. So, got a pair of trousers, got a pair of shoes, another jacket, and a hair dryer, should uh, never go for a to come. So, she's, um, she's new to motorbikes. Uh, need to filter her up gently. Um, I do have another bike. Um, I've got a 2008 uh, Hayabusa. It's funny going on that after being on this. It, uh, I always felt the Hayabusa is quite a big bike, but uh, after being on this, it feels like a moped size wise, not power wise. Um, uh, higher boost is much better at slow speeds and in, in uh, traffic. You know, I go into London on occasion, and um, even though this has a reasonably low centre of gravity, I'm still getting used to. So we're just going to cut through London Colney here, through the, through to the A1, and forward four then the A1. No, I've got it home. It's uh, 
just before 8 o'clock today when I'll be clear now but not that that's really a problem what surprised me with this bike it uh, at low speeds it sounds quite uh, quite refined and low speeds it has no ground at all I mean the uh, higher boost has got uh, um, Yoshi cans on so you can really hear that growl whatever you do with it but once you start uh, piling the revs on this it starts to growl and I like it University of Hertfordshire. I went there like 20 years ago, I can't believe it. the life out of me when I first had it. Got used to it in a few days and then um, about a year later I moved up to a uh, Hayabusa. My first Hayabusa. I think there's a 2000 or thereabouts. Um, loved that. Got a bit reckless on it, sold it, bought another one a year later, got reckless on that, sold that again, sold that, bought another one a couple, a couple of years later. So I've got this sort of the new shape higher booster now, dark grey, and uh, I like it. I bought the first higher boost that I had, I've been looking for one for a while, and I found one in the shop in uh, Doncaster. I was living up in New York and I walked in there and I basically said to the guy, you know, I didn't even negotiate, I pointed at that bike, I said, I want that bike, let's talk. So I told him, <laughs> I got a little bit excited for my own good, probably paid 500 quid more than I should have, but um, I got it. But the, uh, the salesman's like, you better call your insurance company first, mate, you're not going to be able to afford to, to insure that. I was like, well, why do you think that? He's like, well, how old are you? I said, well, 35, I think it was at the time. He's like, oh, I thought you were 20. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm approaching my home now. So I'm going to sign off there. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Anyway, goodbye.